Hello, this is just a summary of what we at CB UK are working towards and why we're doing it. So firstly, I will talk about the Beagle Dogs bred by MBR into sad, unhappy lives for nothing more than profit, either to live for just a few months in laboratories as tools to be tested on for toxicology before they are killed and their little bodies mutilated or to be used as blood donors where 15% of their whole body volume is bled out four times a month until they are spent, or their whole blood volume is bled out in one go and their organs harvested. These dogs are left unattended for 12 plus hours each weekday and 20 hours at the weekend. Marshall Bioresources pride themselves on being fully compliant with animal welfare regulations. Their UK breeding facility is compliant with EU animal welfare regulations, as was Green Hill in Italy. However, three members of management at Green Hill Beagle Breeding Facility in Italy were found guilty of animal mistreatment and each sentenced to a 12 to 18 month prison sentence. The Green Hill site was closed down and the dogs released. So is compliant good enough? Despite decades of animal suffering, there are still no cures for heart disease, cancer, dementia, motor neuron disease and many other conditions that cause 85% of deaths in high income countries like the UK. This is a medical research emergency <coughs> and, it's <coughs> and it's now urgent, imperative, that we accelerate human relevant research. The public will no longer tolerate that puppies and other sentient beings are subjected to pain and suffering when the replacements already exist. Transition to human relevant science. After several decades of human drug development, there remains a lack of published, substantial, comprehensive data to validate the use of animals in preclinical drug testing and to point to their predictive nature with regard to human safety and efficacy. The regulators put regulations for safety around existing tests knowing the science behind using animals to validate safety in humans has never been scientifically fully tested or validated. Human relevant science is different. Its reliability is proven and the range of methods have a name, non-animal methods. This is part of convergent science it means people who are life scientists and technologists and mathematicians and engineers work together to create a spectacular and exciting new branch of science. This has been going on for decades and now they are showing just how brilliant they are. The science is so viable and present that already pressures are occurring. This is transition. So what's the hold up? In the EU, it is illegal to conduct animal tests if accepted alternatives exist, and yet these tests may still be conducted. This could be because the regulators are not checking properly that the alternatives are being implemented, or they are willfully allowing the animal test to be conducted for non-EU purposes. So even though non-animal methods have been developed, there are often massive bureaucratic hurdles to implementing and enforcing their use. The regulators appear to have little appetite to promote the use of non-animal methods to replacing animal testing. When product specific validation is required, in some cases, regulators will accept the non-animal method, but only after the company, the manufacturer, validates it for each of its products and demonstrates that it produces results that are comparable with the animal test, which was never itself validated. But 
this is going to happen and it's going to happen soon. Thank you for listening.